Okay, this is a closed basket weave taping to prevent inversion ankle sprains. Uh, we're going to be using the right ankle foot. Um, first, we're going to have our heel and lace pads. One is going to go on the top and one is going to go on the Achilles tendon. Um, next, we would apply a tough skin. We'll simulate that up to the base of the calf. Then we would also ask her to dorsiflex her ankle. And then we would put the pre-wrap on. And you just need a thin layer. You don't need to put a sock on. Well, just a little more. You can also ask that patient to shave if they need to before you spray. Next we're going to put our anchors on and our first anchor is on top. We're going to, one's going to go on the pre-wrap and going slightly down. The next one is going to go just above that and 50% overlap attaching to the skin. And then we're also going to put one anchor on the top of the foot to anchor our horseshoes. These are the anchors for our stirrups. This prevents inversion ankle sprains, so our stirrups are always going to go medial to lateral. And so they're going to anchor, attach to the medial side, and then they're going to go slightly posterior to the medial malleolus and just posterior to the lateral malleolus on the lateral side. Pulling it in. If you need to have the athlete hold on to that or just make sure that it's anchored. Next, our first horseshoe is going to go uh, just below the medial malleolus, and, or you can go lateral to medial, it doesn't matter on the horseshoes. Uh, and you just need to watch the tape, you just need to lay it where it wants to go, so it might go straight, it might angle slightly down. Next, in this basket weave, we are going to do our second horseshoe. This is going to go over the top of the medial malleolus, and up on the lateral side, pulling slightly into E version before you attach it. This one goes right over the top of the malleolus on both sides. Next, our second horseshoe, which is going to angle slightly up on the medial side. Again, all of these are overlapping 50% with the tape, attaching hopefully to your anchor covering the malleolus in the center. Our third horseshoe is going to angle slightly uh, center of the foot, kind of towards the back, covering the, the anterior part of the malleolus, catching uh, just posterior to the base of the fifth um, metatarsal. Again, you're going to pull into E version before you attach it on the lateral side. Again, the stirrup attaches just anterior to the malleola on both sides. Your third horseshoe might can attach here. It may also attach on the lateral side, angling up. You can overlap 50% and then come around to the lateral side and attach it again, going just superior to your malleolus on both sides. Now you can start your heel lock just like that cloth ankle wrap. It starts on the lateral malleolus. Okay, so you can come around, cross in the arch. Okay, it comes down on the heel, up at a 45 degree angle to the tendon, back to the arch, back to the tendon, going down on the inside back to the heel, up to the arch, going around, 
continuously back to the arch. That was your first heel lock. Now you do this, repeat that same pattern. Heel up on the outside at a 45 degree angle. Uh, tendon, arch, back to the tendon, going down on the inside to the heel, back up to the arch, around the distal tibia, and then you can close the tape. That was our double heel lock. Now we can do a uh, figure eight. Uh, we can do this on two methods I'm going to show you. One, you can rip a piece of tape just posterior to the base of the fifth metatarsal. Uh, you're going to do a figure eight, arching this in the top of the foot. Bottom eight, top of the eight. Or you can do a continuous. Starting on the lateral malleolus, you can go around the top, around the bottom, and rip it. One figure eight is enough. Then you can do your closures upward or downward. If you go downward, you would start on the skin, overlapping 50%, or you can go up from your last closure. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just know the angle of the tape might be downward as you get above the malleoli, slightly downward, again overlapping 50% each time with the tape. Cutting after each, never go continuous around. Your last piece of tape is going to be on the skin. Those are your top closures, your bottom closures. Um, Again, I would put one or two pieces of tape, depending on uh, athlete's preference. Try to stay off the base of the fifth metatarsal. Put one half on the bottom with your chest or thigh. Flatten the foot, compress it so that the metatarsals are spread. And then you can apply one or two top closures to hold. And that is a complete basket leave taping. Look for any holes, cracks, check the functionality, uh, check circulation, sensation, ask the athlete if it's too tight or loose.